the latest Tiny 1125H2, Build Now runs with zero pre-installed apps. It uses just 256 megabytes of RAM and takes up only six gigabytes of storage, while keeping the Microsoft Store, Updates, Defender, and Modern Windows features fully functional. I'm Neil from Appetis. Let's jump right in. To start the installation, we have to use the new Tiny 11 Creator, which is made by me. Stick around for the tutorial on how to build it. We'll come back to that after the installation. Once you have built the package, open the Xeno application inside the folder. Select the Tiny 11 Setup Package. When prompted, choose a destination drive. Make sure the drive is empty and formatted with the NTFS file system. Erasing a non-empty drive might lead to data loss, so be cautious while choosing the drive. You can also set up Tiny11 using a bootable USB tool like Rufus, but I prefer this method because it's faster. The installation process usually finishes in a few minutes. When it completes, restart your PC. You should then see the dual boot option for Tiny11. If you don't see it, you can create one using BCD software or use the bootable USB method instead. Remember, always use a valid Windows license key when setting up Tiny11. We do not promote any kind of piracy. This video is for educational and customization purposes only. On the Tiny11 desktop, open the Configure app and check that you've installed the correct version, V4. After confirming, enable compression to save space without deleting any files. This process takes 10 minutes to an hour, depending on your PC's speed, but you can keep using your computer during it. For the best performance, install Velotic, my Windows optimization app. It will help your PC run faster and more smoothly. Velotic can boost your FPS in any game, whether you're playing a first-person shooter, indie titles, or AAA releases. It can also tune your GPU and CPU automatically. You don't need to be an expert. There's no coding or complicated steps. Just one click and Velotic does the rest. Tired of downloading and installing apps manually? Velotic lets you install them in one click. Or if junk files are slowing you down, Velotic uh, clears them out automatically so you don't have to do it yourself. Debloat your PC with a single click using customizable options. Velotic can turn your stock Windows 11 into something like Tiny 11 instantly. Low on space? Use Velotic's built-in compression to save up to 70% storage without deleting any files. Apply over 500 optimizations to boost every component in your PC. You'll also get power plans and hundreds of tweaks to unlock more performance from your hardware. All of this is available for a one-time price of $10 with no monthly fees. This isn't a sponsored product. I've built Velotic myself over the past three years. Many users have had good experiences with it. You don't have to buy it, but if you do, it helps your PC and supports the channel so I can keep creating useful content. That compression has finished, check your disk usage. You'll see Tiny11 uses only around 6 gigabytes, much less than standard Windows 11, which takes about 30 gigabytes. Over time, we plan to reduce tiny 11's size even further, making it leaner and more efficient. To get connected to the internet, you'll need a browser. Open the Configure app and click on Chrome. Not a Chrome user? Choose Edge, Opera, or Firefox instead. I'm curious which browser you prefer and why, so let me know in the comments. Now that you have a browser set up, take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I've added links to my channel right inside the Configure app so you can visit directly if you have any questions. Speaking of questions, there's a better place to get help or chat. My Discord server. Whether you need assistance with the installation or want a sneak peek at upcoming builds, join the server to connect with me in the community. If your apps or games keep crashing, you might need to enable paging files. They're turned off by default in Tiny11 to save space, but turning them on can improve stability for tasks that use a lot of RAM. This simple step can make your experience much smoother. Defender is turned off by default in Tiny11, but you can enable it easily through the Configure app to add security to your PC. Some users skip Defender because it can show false positives, but you can install any antivirus you prefer instead. To enable Defender, open the Configure app, turn on Defender, then go to Settings and enable Real-Time Protection. 
follow the steps shown on screen to complete the process. This will help keep your PC protected while you browse, install apps, or play games. In my previous Tiny11 build, many of you had trouble logging into your Microsoft account on the Home Edition. I've fixed that issue in this Tiny11 Pro build. Now you can log in easily through the Microsoft Store. Once signed in, you'll be able to access your Xbox account, download your purchased apps, and sync your settings without any problems. This update should make your experience smoother and give you full access to the features you need on Tiny11. Another bug in Tiny11 v3 was the inability to change your username, which many of you reported. That issue is fixed in this version. To change your username, go to the control panel, open user accounts, and edit your account name there. You can also create additional local accounts for family members or other users on your PC. For better security, set a password for each account. Once you're done making these changes, restart your PC so the updates take effect. Next, let's talk about drivers. Do you really need them? If you're a gamer looking for the best performance, you need drivers. If you use dual monitors or plan to connect external displays, you need them. If features like touchscreens, trackpads, or special keyboard keys aren't working, you definitely need drivers. Drivers ensure your hardware runs smoothly and lets you take full advantage of your PC. Unlike regular Windows 11, Tiny11 saves you time. You don't have to search online for each driver manually. Just open the Configure app on your Tiny11 desktop and click Install Drivers. The driver installer will scan your system, find what's needed, and guide you through installation. The whole process takes just a few minutes and gets your PC fully ready for everyday use or gaming. This version of Tiny11 doesn't include any pre-installed apps, so you'll probably want to add tools like Calculator, Snipping Tool, or any other utilities you use every day. The Microsoft Store works fully in this build, so you can download and install everything you need directly from there without any problems, making it easy to customize your setup. And now for the most important part, Copilot. AI is part of our daily lives, and Tiny11 fully supports Copilot. You don't need Edge anymore to use it. Simply install Copilot from the Microsoft Store, then pin it to your taskbar like I do in this video. Once set up, you'll be able to chat with Microsoft's AI seamlessly. You can also sign in with your Microsoft account to access your chat history and keep everything in sync across your devices. Previously, you needed VivTool and feature ID codes to enable phone link on Tiny11. That's no longer necessary. I've created a utility to install phone link seamlessly on Tiny11. You can find it on my website, and it's completely free to use if you'd like. If you prefer the VivTool method, you're free to go that route too. Both methods work. To use my utility, just click Start Setup. It will launch the phone link install page in the Microsoft Store. While you install it, the utility will automatically download VivTool and enable the necessary feature. After installation, open phone link to connect your phone to your PC. Once you finish setup, restart your PC. After restarting, you'll see your linked phone in the new Modern Start menu flyout. I've put a lot of effort into making these tools simple and customizable for everyone. Now it's your turn to support my work. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. The faster this video reaches more people, the sooner I can bring you the next one. We have now completed every customization tutorial in this series. The next step is to build your Tiny11 system from start to finish. This process is designed to be as simple and fast as possible, so you can start enjoying your optimized Windows experience without delays. You will find the purchase link in the video description. Make sure to enter the coupon code APITUS100 at checkout to unlock a significant discount on your order. Once your purchase is confirmed, select Go to your items. This will give you immediate access to the Creator tool. Download the Creator, then run it as an administrator. As soon as you launch it, the build process will begin automatically. You will not need to configure any additional settings or follow complex steps. The system takes care of everything in the background. When the build is complete, the tool will display a message asking you to press Enter to exit. At that point, you will find your new Tiny11 folder located in the same directory as the Creator file. You can then return to the installation tutorial and proceed with setting up your system. This latest release, version 5, includes performance enhancements, faster load times, and a noticeably smoother overall experience.
Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more guides. This is Apatis, signing off.